Hey, what's going on guys? Well, I am very excited to bring you this knife review today. Today we're talking about a GEC model. This is a great Eastern cutlery knife. And this one is what they call their bullnose. And it's part of their farm and field uh, line. Now the farm and field line is supposed to be their economy line. And I have to do a little air quotes there because there is nothing economy about this knife at all. Okay, um, this is uh, sent to me by a viewer. And it's actually a quick little funny backstory here. I've had uh, a couple people that have been very heavily requesting GEC knife reviews for a very long time. Now when, when GEC kind of first hit the scene and they really you know, gained some ground and gained popularity and people started getting their knives and loving them and talking about them and you know, becoming hardcore fans of the company and, and collectors, you know, I caught wind of that. I, of course people are talking about it. I'm always in the knife scene. I've, I've heard about it for a long time, but I kind of put it on the back burner. Like, yeah, you know, I'll check those out sometime. And when I went down to the Blade Show, um, I was able to see their booth, I was able to uh, handle a couple of their knives, but it was kind of a drive-by experience for me. There was so much to do in Blade Show that I never dedicated any real time to that particular booth and, and really kind of get a feel for what the, this company is offering. You know, I had the assumption that they're along the same line as like maybe WR Case & Sons, maybe like a notch above like Queen Cutlery. And speaking of Queen, I believe they're from the same place, Titusville, PA. Uh, Titusville is extremely, extremely rich in knife history. In fact, I believe there's even a book written about it. I, I came across it once online, uh, and I think I'm going to end up buying that book eventually because it's just really, really interesting stuff. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this this company ha has just been it's been mind blowing for so many different people, and they keep telling me, and people keep laying on me, Jeff, you got to try this out. In fact, I had one guy that I think for months and months and months I forget who it was. Um, but every knife review, he would comment, and it would be the same comment, when are you going to review a GEC? you got to get a GEC. I heard it over and over again. At first, you know, it was kind of funny. Then it kind of got annoying. Then it kind of got to this, like, really, you know, funny experience. That, yeah, eventually, I'm going to get one. It's going to happen eventually. And finally, a, a viewer ended up sending me one. And, and at this point, you know, honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit to you guys, I feel a little foolish. I really should have focused more on this company from the get-go because I am completely, completely blown away with their quality. Um, I can't say enough good things about this knife. Okay, and again, keep in mind, this is their cheap model, okay? Um, because they're made fully in America, because they have such a long uh, production process, of course, they have a little bit of new technology, but a lot of this is made with some old-school technique, okay? A lot of uh, hands-on work with these knives, so the quality really shows. I mean, just right off the bat, the fit and finish is superb. There's no gaps. There's, uh, you know, no little dings or anything. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I've literally handled more than a thousand different WR Case and Sons knives. I've probably handled hundreds and hundreds of uh, Queen Cutlery. Um, I've had a slew of different brands, you know, from, uh, you know, different types of slip joints and traditional knife patterns. And I've never had something of this quality. And if this is their, their cheap knife, this is the cheapest thing they have to offer and it gets better than this, then holy cow, I can't wait to experience some new GEC knives in the future. Um, so yeah, I'm completely blown away and I really have to apologize to all the people out there that have been, they've been trying to get me to get one of these things and I've been reluctant, you know, there's no other reason than I've been busy with other types of knives. I've been very, you know, involved with a lot of uh, frame locks and, and modern, you know, tactical knives, stuff like that. And uh, I really did put this on the back burner and I feel sorry for myself for doing that. I've been missing out. These things are frigging awesome. Um, that's your review right there. I, there. Nothing really else has to be said. If you guys like traditional knives, you owe it to yourself to save up and get a GEC. It doesn't matter which one. Okay, like I said, if this is the cheapest thing they offer, the biggest piece of crap that they have, and it only gets better from here, then holy smokes, man. That is, uh, that is freaking awesome. Uh, but of course, I'll give you a little more than that in, as far as the review goes. Um, but this has everything you want in a knife. It, it's sexy. It, it's made so well. It is really, really sharp. Great performance. This is sporting an 01 tool steel blade. Give you a quick little demo. I haven't done any cut tests in a while. I mean, this thing is a hot knife through butter. Okay, absolutely ridiculous. Now, this is lots of use too. I didn't even strop this thing. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, 
All right, let's get into some specifics here. First of all, these knives come in these handsome little tubes. Nice artwork on the front. All right, we have some information on here right on top. This is giving our, our knife uh, pattern, I guess. Um, it's a little bit of a code system. It's actually very simple to understand. I'm gonna explain it to you. I'll give you a breakdown for this particular model. Basically, it says number 715114, red, red linen micarta. All right, so in the tube, the knife, uh, came in some nice uh, wax paper. I like that, all right. And that's pretty much it as far as packaging goes. Um, so let's talk about that, that little code there. First of all, let's take a look at the tang. Let me zoom in. If I can find my button that zooms in, there we go. Focus, focus, we're getting there, okay. <laughs> so we say, we see GEC01 tool, okay, Titusville PA. And then there's our tang stamp. Again, it's it's actually 715114. Okay. Now what this means that the first two numbers is going to be your pattern number. 71 in this case dictates the farm and field line. Okay. Um, the five is going to be the blade, the specific blade shape. In this case, it is a drop point blade. Okay, so five represents that. And of course, you can get all this information from their website. You know, whatever pattern you have, you can break it down and understand what it what it all means. Uh, the one is how many blades there are. This blade, uh, this knife, obviously only has one blade. Okay, so that's what the one dictates. And then the last two digits are the year, 14. Okay, so again, 71 shows this is the farm and field um, work knife. The five is the blade pattern, which is a drop point. The one means there's one blade, and 14 means this was made in 2014. Okay, so their little tang code system, very simple to use. Once you get a hang of it, it's really easy to identify what things are and when they're made. And I absolutely love when knife companies put some kind of code system on their knife that shows when it was made. Okay, so it's cool, a little throwback, especially if you're collecting them. You're like, yeah, this one's from 2010, or this one's from 2012, or whatever. Uh, very cool. Also, very big cool thing that they do on their website is they uh, give public information as to every knife that was made every single year of production, which is awesome. So I was very, uh, very easy to figure out that this particular knife that was made in 2014, um, there was 131 of them made, okay? This pattern of knife, there was four different colors offered. There was 131 made in this maroon micarta uh, scales, okay, which I absolutely love. This is absolutely beautiful, super smooth linen micarta, beautiful coloration. Uh, but I was also able to find out there was 100 of these made in an OD green micarta. There was 29 made in black Delrin and 22 made in orange Delrin. Okay, now the prices are pretty much the same for all of them. In fact, I saw them online for about $61. I think it was KnivesShipFree.com, which uh, there's a couple codes out there. You can get some discounts from them as well. But they had the Black Delrin, which is very cool, which I might pick up. I don't know. Might miss out on that now that I mention it to you guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, so even the limited number ones, they, they seem to be the same price. You know, some are serialized. A lot of the knives are not serialized. In this particular case, this isn't. But it's really just cool that they have that information there. So I know exactly how many were made. I wish all companies did that. Um, you know, even if there was 20,000 made, it'd, it'd be cool just to know that, hey, whatever knife you're carrying, it's one of whatever. You know, they don't have to be serialized for you to have that information, which is very cool. So I know there's only 131 of these existing on planet Earth. Now, because GEC does these low production numbers, again, attention to detail, very, very high quality, low production. Of course, that's going to make this extremely collectible. And that's why I completely understand why so many people out there are obsessed with these GEC knives and collecting them. I get it. It's not just a cool collectible because of the low uh, production and because there's so few of all the different models, um, but just the quality is there. It is. It blew me away, guys. You, you really have no idea until you get one of these in hand, especially if you're like a case guy, you know, if you're like your queen cutlery or whatever, you like these traditional knives. Even if you have like an old Remington, that's, you know, what you've been using for years or an old timer, you know, an old trade or something. Um, you know, you get one of these in your hands and I'm telling you, you are definitely, definitely going to be impressed. The attention to detail is amazing. Okay, you can see just right in the pivot here, the F and F for Farm and Field, USA. I love it. I absolutely love it. On the front, again, Farm and Field. Nice little brass pin. OK. 
Okay, a little lanyard tube as well. Now to me, I mean, again, they're calling this the bull nose. To me, it's a sod buster. That's the traditional pattern here is a sod buster. They, uh, they do have a larger uh, model. This one has a two and seven eighths inches blade. Again, it's an 01 tool steel. The performance is phenomenal. Came razor, razor sharp. It's got a nice little point on it. Of course, nail nick in the side to, uh, to open that. Um, this one is three and seven eighths inches closed. There is a half stop there. It's a little stiff in opening it, okay? But I, I do like the half stop. Just awesome. Seven inches overall. Uh, it's called the Bull Buster. I forget exactly the dimensions, but it is a basically a large sod buster. A little bit bigger than this one, and that one I believe is offered in a 1095 carbon. All right, so different steel there. Uh, price is only a couple bucks more too. So if you do want a larger version, or if, let's say you do prefer the 1095 over 01, which I don't see why you would, but let's say you do, um, it's like I think $64 or $65. So it's still in that that good price range. So uh, yeah, I mean. I really can't say enough about this knife. If you are a traditionalist and you like your slip joints and you have not checked GEC out, you are missing out, uh, completely missing out. Again, I feel a little foolish for waiting so long to really be, get exposed to it. It took you know a, a viewer to send me one to kind of kick me in the butt and say, dude, check these out. These are awesome. You got to try them. So yeah, now that I've had the, 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 the rock bottom, I guess you could consider uh, this to be, which again is ridiculous to, to even consider this an economy line. Uh, I've got to try one of their their better models. Um, they offer, of course, tons of different traditional patterns. I actually really love their sunfish models. Very very cool. Um, but of course, they have a, a slew of different different patterns. So you'll definitely see more GEC videos in the future. Uh, Christmas is around the corner, so I may even ask for these uh, from Santa um, because they're just they're that awesome. So if you haven't already picked up on it, because I'm laying it on pretty thick, it should be pretty obvious, I am extremely satisfied with this company. I am extremely happy with this particular knife. Um, it's awesome. It really is something else. So bravo to, uh, to GEC for what they're doing. And I very much look forward to, to getting more models in the future. So thank you very much to the person who has been very persistent. Well, there's a couple of you guys, but one person happened to comment like every video. Uh, about these knives and yeah, uh, I get it. I finally have one in hand. I'm completely sold hook line and sinker I'm a GEC fan and uh, Although I'll still love case knives. I still love Queen cutlery. I'll still collect those knives and use those knives um, I definitely think that the this company is putting out a superior product Of course the price does reflect that they are more expensive than those other models or other companies um, But you're getting your money you're definitely getting your, your value there. So if you're really into your knives, it's worth saving up and getting one of these things. So that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome, awesome day. And please don't feel shy. Make me jealous down in the comments and let me know what GECs you own. So there you go. Hope you have a great day, guys. I'll see you soon. Take care.